Hello, my name is Kirsty Hobson and I am a volunteer at Roots Red Sea in Egypt. So the reason we decided to do a reef clean up at Abu Hamra is because we did a dive there at the beginning of the trip and there was loads of fishing line caught around all the coral and quite a lot of litter kind of swept underneath the reef on the north side. So when we do a reef clean up there are three main tools that we use. So we have a knife, you can use any kind of knife. We use the easy cut usually because it's real sharp. <laughs> and we also have a spool of wood. So you use the wood as a spool to wrap the fishing line around as you collect it. And sometimes you can get kilometers and kilometers of fishing line from just one dive. Then we also have a mesh bag. We use the Project Aware mesh bag because we were doing the dive in association with Project Aware and they're pretty good as well. They're black, they're easy. You can put them in your pocket at the beginning of the dive and then get them out when you just start to collect the litter. And you can also attach them to any of your diving equipment too. When you clean up the reef, it is <laughs> imperative that you have good buoyancy because you do tend to use a lot more air than you would usually on a dive. Additionally, you have to be very careful because of course you don't want to harm any of the coral around. And you collect the litter, it can be anywhere. The particular reef at Abu Hamra, it tends to collect on the north side, kind of uh, underneath where the current sweeps. And we found loads of things. We found um, huge sheets of plastic, like kind of like microfiber stuff, um, anything from forks, flip-flops, pairs of flip-flops, individual flip-flops, um, and loads and loads of fishing line. I think if every diver that went down into the ocean picked up a few pieces of litter or took a knife down and cut away some fishing line, the oceans could really thrive with the help of scuba divers or snorkelers or free divers or anyone really.